Oi, hello, hello. Oi, hello. Oi, hello. Hello, hello. So we are very happy. We are very honored that you are all here. To see this beautiful Sarangani Highlands. Welcome you all. I welcome you all. Sarangani Highlands was originally built as a retreat home atop an old military base by Dr. Ruiz and Dr. Abelio. Sarangani is a sangil. It's a sangil word means this is my territory. It is an Indonesian word means this is my place. My grandfather was the first Christian settler to arrive in this part of Mindanao. He arrived here in October 8, 1914, so he brought along with him 16 families. We're in uh, Sarangani Highlands and we're having our welcome drink, tropical fruit papaya, mango, pineapple. This is the way to do it. Which is your choice? I think I'll have both. <laughs> You'll have both? You'll have both? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll just have one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The food in Sarangani Highlands varies from the indigenous pako to the different varieties of seafood, pork, beef, and of course, dessert. But before we eat, a special cooking show by the colorful Dr. Ruiz. Today, it is pomelo mango salad with shrimp. You know, I'm Chef Ruiz, but you know, my uniform got wet that last night. So it's very easy to prepare this food, although it's quite expensive because if you are not our guest, I'm going to charge this for one million. <laughs> ah, yeah, there's a beautiful smell in olive oil. Ah, this is very virgin oil. Very virgin. Ah. Our dressing is, is a cream made by our farm. We have a farm here. Honey, that's Harangani brand. Organic. Organic, organic honey. Okay. Okay, sige na. Part, sige na, sige na. Okay. Oh, I want no shyness. You have to be mm, makapal. Okay lang. Yeah. Let's have two. Yeah. So, so good. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. And the finale. The Philippines has 110 distinct cultural communities. In Mindanao, there are 46. Sarangani alone has more than we can count. Blaan, Diboli, Ubo, Manobo, Kalagan, Tagakalo, and the Islamized Magindanawan and Sama were the original inhabitants of the area. Sarangani's landscape is dotted with coastal barangays and beautiful rainforests. The trip brings us to the first and older district, District 1, to a town called Maitu. So, pag nasa tubig na ho tayo, ang ginagawa madalas ng mga pasahero is just to relax and hawak ko sa may, may dalawang rubber both side, ano? And then, pag going na ho yung flow na ating ng tube, may mga obstacles ho kasi na feel face, ano? So, ang nangyayari is i-aflip lang ho yung paa, hayaan lang ho natin yung tube natin na babangga doon sa bato. Woo! In 1991, 2,000-year-old anthropomorphic pottery, or pottery with human form, were found in Ayub Cave, Maito. Nothing similar is found anywhere else in Southeast Asia. Our archaeologist friend R.R. describes. Dito sa anthropomorphic jars na ito, tinatawag natin na 
basis of my ito, it is because it depicts the facial expressions na mayroon from uh, prehistoric life na mayroon. Makikita natin dito, yung makikita natin ng mga maliliit na jars or jarlet na tinatawag namin, ito yung makikita doon sa flow ng jars. Which means, pag mayroong namatay na tao, so nililibing nila after 6 to 7 years, inuhukay ito ulit, and then kukunin yung, yung buto. Pag kinukuha nila yung buto, before ilalagay sa kalubog ng jars, ito ay nililitisan ng mabuti. Ito ay tinatawag na parang secret ito siya na tawag nito na paggawa nila. Today, my item is an eclectic mix of Ilocanos, Tibolis, Visayans, and Americans. Elsie Parrot tells us how her family ended up in a small town in the middle of the wilderness. Both my grandfathers were foreigners, and they came here to look around, and uh, he ended up marrying uh, Blaan. And my grandfather on my mother's side was uh, uh, an American also, and he ended up marrying Tiboli also. He ended up with three wives. Her husband, Mac Parrott, describes his story. Well, mine started actually, my dad was part of that, uh, what they call Thomasites. There was, there was a group of teachers that were sent down here from the States back in the late 1800s. Her grandfather ended up in clay plantation, and my dad ended up, I guess he picked my tomb at the place. <laughs> We've all been raised here. We're my tombians. I didn't even know I was American until I was past teenage. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that. And then when things got a little rough during the 70s, yeah, there's an opportunity to visit the state because, you know, it's an American that's never been to the state, so I had to go there. One thing led to another, it got next thing you know, it was 20 years after. All our guests have never been this far down south, and it was actually surprising to see a family of another descent living in this town so far away from everything and finding yourself you might need to get lost somewhere else first. Coming up, Get Lost is in Order. Day 2 welcomes us with a bag.